Okay, Tzoraim <clears throat> Tov, today on the second day of Elul, we're continuing the Sefer Eshpoich Lefun of Sichi, we're on page Kuf Chav Dalid, and we're give, continuing to give more differences between regular tefillah and hispodidus. So we continue, Od Chiluk Kayim Beneim, there's another difference that exists between the two of them, Bitvila in prayer, when you're davening, you have to concentrate your heart to what comes out of your mouth. Because what's the main goal of the prayer? To say the words of prayer as the rabbis established it. The rabbis say, Say these words. Okay, so I'm going to say these words. It's hard to concentrate on those words. Because those words are not yours. They are the words of the men of the great assembly. And the person who's davening has to have kavana for those words. Um, it should be shiyotzim, and it should be that comes out of him. I'm not sure what he means, shelo yetsu bomenu. Uh, but he has to have kavana for those words. Okay, it's not necessarily your words, so I got to think. These are the words they want me to say. Well, okay, lechavin simotev shelo. Okay, very good. Shelo yotsu, but that did not come from him. Yes, of kavana of words that did not come from it. Okay, be spited to said over it, but with his photos, it's different. It's mashay shot unbelievable. That's what he has in his heart. He takes it comes out of his mouth. It's the exact opposite. You see, when you are doing his photos, first there's something in your heart, and you're saying saying it. With Vila, it's really. He's saying words, and he has to have kavana that that's the words that he wants. So that's really a tricky business. It's an unnatural process. What I would say tefillah is, if you want to use a mushal, although it's probably not 100% the mushal, but an actor. An actor has to read his lines. Has to read his lines. Not only does he have to read his lines, he has to really get into it. You know, you have to be that persona. The whole thing is not just like reading lines. It's how you say the lines and all that. And it's not his words. He's getting paid to say these words. Almost in a certain way, it's the same thing. You know, we're quote unquote getting paid to read our lines. But, but obviously these are true words. These aren't phony things. And they're coming from the Anshik Nessus Agadola. But we still have to make the effort to under, to have to feel what's coming out of your mouth. His produce is more natural. It's in your heart, and then it comes out of your mouth. Ube Sefer Yaris Dvash Kosit, and the Sefer Yaris Dvash, she writes, Shemovad Nusachat Vila. Besides the text of the prayers, Yesh Lahosi, Perm, Shon Shomispal. Person should also add words from persons praying with his own words. And he says, quote, even if his words are a language that's slurred, and he can't pray Hebrew properly, still, it's precious before Hashem. As if you prayed in a very expansive way. In a very clear, beautiful speech. And through that prayer, Hashem will listen to our voice and benefits will come out. Because such a prayer certainly is with Kavana. Because if you pray every day, something new for what you need, but also at that time, 
and you arrange your praise of your mouth in kavana. And for that, you certainly need a kavana. You can't pray without specific kavana. So he's prayed properly. That's the main thing. It's a prayer that comes out of the depths of the heart. It says, From the depths I call out to Hashem. It comes from the depths of the heart. Okay. So let's just look at the footnote below. He says, as Tvarov Kasim Gavay Tfila Bishamayat Fila. These words that he says is on the brach of Shomeyat Fila. Shesh Lahosi Boka Ultrachov. You should add whatever you need. But the Mishab already said that by Shomeyat Fila, you should just get the essence of that. So that's what, what he's saying. So therefore, um, he, he, he's, he's saying, it's it's not really clear to me what he's actually saying over here, but let's just do a little bit more. When a person prays this way, he's showing that everything he is saying is with ashkocha pratis, uh, without exception. He is saying all the details what he wants. Okay. So that's what I guess he's saying over here is, yes, in addition to the set prayers, and even though you don't say it in the proper way, but if you're saying things in Shomeyat Fila from the depths of your heart, that's really my mamaki. So he's saying, yes, we have the standard prayers, and but you know, but if you want to say something on your own in Shomeyat Fila, you can. not And that, he's saying, you don't say Tfila Kamura. Okay, so therefore, um, you know, that, that, that's what he's saying about those special prayers over there, because you're showing exactly what you want, and that's the Shkacha Pratis. And this is very similar to the Sefer Chinuch writes by Tvilo, which is, quote, to know that he is the master who's good and bestows good. He supervises, he doesn't sleep. And we believe with his, of his reign. We believe he could do everything. And here's the main point. I know this. Anyone who does not pray at a time of need, of tragedy, he's nullified the positive mitzvah of prayer. And he gets a big punishment. It's like he puts away Hashem's Hashkacha from him. When you're in trouble and you don't pray, that according to the Ramban, for example, the real mitzvah that arises of feel is when you're in trouble. If you're in trouble, you don't pray, you, you net, you've, um, you've um, avoided doing a positive mitzvah. And that's the transgression. You've transgressed not doing a positive mitzvah. Now, that's one of, these one of the lofty concepts the you married me, knew he's spotted us. That's the whole point of his photos. Lahargi Shkrill, all Prado Prat Mechev, to feel every detail of his life. Who must be at Hashem That every detail is given over to Hashem is Hashkacha. And therefore, when you're doing his photos, that's exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about those things that are on your mind. And if you're in great sorrows, you're talking about those great sorrows that you have in your mind. Let me Good just. Question. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. At the bottom, a little bit more. Go ahead. It's called Prado Prat Mushkach because really every detail is supervised by Hashem, as Gemara Kulon says. And Adam Dokev had spoken the mount. The person doesn't even nick his finger below. Unless it was an announcement above, as it says, Hashem Sadi Gaver Konenu. Hashem prepares people's steps. Ubedirach Marshal, for example. A person wants to cut a piece of bread, and without you know paying attention, so it seems accidentally he cut his head. Right? And person says, Oh, what a stupid person was, I accidentally cut my hand. But the truth is, okay, I'll leave it to Emmas, but the real truth is that what? Ain't can shoot us, there's no mistake. Everything was determined above with Hashem's Hashkacha Pratis, that Hashem would have you make that mistake. 
Amitzias Kazo Shadam no cave. There's no such situation where a person bruises himself. You cut your hand. I'm getting a rizal came out unless there was an announcement above. Otum was another example the Gemara gives that what? Shafila Hoshi, you put your hand in your pocket to get change, get three coins. Follow the other Rakshay, only get two. Next, Shavadol is served. That's considered suffering. Clomer, meaning to say, Bishamayim needs to love your sermon. In the heavens above, they decreed his sufferings. That's why I only got two coins. The Lord says, without that decree, he would have got the three without that decree. Okay, and therefore, when a person speaks to Hashem over every detail in life, in life, when it says, and you're asking for Hashem to give you help, that is how you strengthen your Ramun and Hashem because you're saying that everything is coming from HaKadosh Baruch Hu in that way. A person before every activity does, even the smallest one. You ask Hashem to have, give you assistance. So Chaim Kol Chayev, he lives with his whole life. It's Seilu the Menusa in the shadow of faith. Chay Emuna Hashem, he lives with Emuna with Hashem. So that that's what he is saying over here. That when you're looking at every little detail and you're you're understanding and you're talking to Hashem about every detail, so this is very real. It's coming from your heart. You're fulfilling the positive mitzvah. And by focusing on the, now, when you're just davening regular, the standard text, you may not be focusing on any details at all. But here, when you're saying your own words, like what's bothering you? This little thing, you know, why do I keep, I keep stubbing my toe. It's very disturbing. Hashem, why do you keep doing that to me? What virus am I doing that you're causing me to stub my toe? So therefore, when you talk, when you get into the nitty gritty details of life, that means you're acknowledging that Hashem has a lot to do with all the nitty gritty details of life, which will strengthen your amuna much more than the standard prayer. Okay, Paul, now I'm happy to take your question. Um, I think Rabbi may have answered to some extent, but, um, and I didn't listen to the Rabbi's uh, benching uh, class yet, because okay. I guess it ties to this, okay. but are we meant to only go to Hashem when we have problems? I no. Thought, you meant to go all the time. No question about it. So, sure, isn't it, a, isn't it a higher level to go to Hashem when we don't have problems because we want to keep the communication open rather than just when we have issues? There's no question about it. We're talking about, let's say, when the Ramban says, when's the mitzvah say of tefillah? The mitzvah say of tefillah is when you're having a problem and you're asking, and you know that Hashem is the source of that. Now, it's certainly, if, if you're coming into a situation before a problem exists, certainly you can acknowledge Hashem's um, power of the upcoming situation. You know, something's coming up. You don't know if it's going to be good or bad. I don't know what's going to happen. He says, Hashem, help me in this area. So it doesn't have to only be after something bad has happened. It can certainly be, but that's when the most likely way of um, talking to Hashem would be. But there's certainly no difference in terms of um, understanding and believing in Hashem's Hashkocha is if before problems exist, you say, Hashem, help me where I'm doing now. Right now is fine. And I hope you will continue that things will be fine and things won't turn bad at all because I know every little step is in your control. So that, that but that okay. we can talk about details, proactive details. Yeah are also important. So you could say that as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's go to another <laughs> advantage. Od Malanist. Yeah. Maybe it's a completely different relationship. So when you're diving, you're diving before the king. When you're talking, you're talking before, uh, you're talking to the spouse, you're talking to the friend. When you're exploded, you're just, you're just sharing your troubles with a friend, not with the proper respect that you would say to the king of the world. Okay, so that that's well, we're going to see that yeah, different relationships is, is coming up. That's true. That's true. And he's going to mention that um, somewhere along the line here. 
because there's certain halachos, for example, certain halachos of tefillah, and there's not the same halachos by his photographs, as we shall see. Uh, I'm not sure if we mentioned already, or I, I don't know, maybe I've gone ahead, and that's why, that's why I'm, but I don't want to say it yet if we're about, about to say it, but that is very correct. Uh, there's a difference because in your, when you're doing a mitzvah, this is the soldier is doing what the soldier is doing. So Hashem says, I need you guys to pray. It makes a difference in the world. You got to capture this uh, beachhead. How are we going to do this? We need a lot of Jews to pray. It's a word to pray. Right? So I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm doing my job as a soldier. Then you can say, forget about me being a soldier. I got to tell you my problems. I got to tell you my feelings. Yes, for sure. There's another benefit, advantage of his produce than the prearranged prayers. As Rabbeinu says, Rabbi Nachman says, Prayer is a set path, a highway, that the prosecutors, the mazikim, the terrorists, they all know, and they're hiding in ambush to get you. It's a, I gave this a, a marshal already. It's a, it's a way, and, and, the, and the enemies are ready to hit you on the main highway. Um, look what he says on the bottom footnote, Yudalit. He brings from the Sefer Shariora. From this world, the road up to Shemaim, it's not just filled with empty air. There are camps and troops of angels. There are some who are damagers and terrorists. They don't let the prayers ascend. Some even rip up the prayers. You need a lot of merit for those prayers to come up. When you're doing the standard prayers, there's lots of uh, terrorists along the way. That's not a well-tread path. Those aren't set words. Every time you're saying brand new words. Things change depending on circumstances. A lot of times, a person doesn't even know what, what he's going to come out of his mouth when he starts talking. What words have we sent from Shammai? So you yourself don't even know the road you're going on. You're just going on, you're just opening your mouth, and what's Hashem going to put in my mouth? So therefore, you don't have to worry about being caught. So this type of prayer is considered going from the side. Remember, we had that in the story with the capture with the princess, where the uh, where the viceroy is taking a side path. We mentioned that. <laughs> from that, he's able to get to the princess. The prosecutors, the enemies, they don't know even where you're going. They can't stop such a prayer from going up. Because it's not the regular type of prayers. Okay, Dovernosef, another benefit, as explained in the Sefer Be'er Likutim, there's 12 different liturgies of prayer, one for each tribe. And it's 12. We lost it. Do you guys still see it or not? No. No. Yeah, yeah, we you see guys, it. The other guys don't. So hang on just one second. Got to mirror it again. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Okay, fine. So there's 12 gates. And uh, there, they go after Shemai, and the Rebbe says, You need a lot of merits for your prayer to go through the right gate. But he spoke to us, it's a prayer of what? The Pesach says in, in uh, Eicha, my, my heart flows like water right in front of Hashem. 
There's no barriers. There's no gates. There's no gate at all. You're just talking straight to Hashem. This type of prayer is considered like a path that even an eagle doesn't know. It is a prayer that has something to do with the 50th gate, whatever, but it's a gate that everything can go through. Now, here is the point that you were bringing up, Steve. Let's look in terms of the place. Prayer is different than his spiders. Tfila prayer yesh lispalo babayis. It should be in an inside structure. Below basada, not in a field, not in a backyard. Okay. You know, do I have the people here? Are you, uh, did I, did I lose the, uh, the here, Rabbi. Okay. So here. Some we can just, we just we can't, cannot see. We can't see you. Okay. But we can see that, we can see the, uh, the file, we yeah. just can't see you. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It's okay. I remember what you look like, Rabbi. What? What should I press? Baseball. What? Baseball. Where's the view? Press every dot. Well, we got it back. I don't know what I did, but we got you back. We you still don't see you, Rabbi. You still can't see me. Maybe the audience should change the presenter. Okay, anyway. Start my start video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now. Got it. yeah. Good. Okay. Okay, just wanna. Okay, anyway. <laughs> that one to the other side. Oh, you're mirroring. I'm trying to, what do you call it? Click on the one that you got. Click on the one that's beside you. Go to the screen. Okay, you got to say more than there. Nine dots at the top of Paul's head. There's two dots. There you go. Those are the two. There you go. That one? Yeah. That one. Okay, yeah. good. Our, <laughs> okay, Paul's afraid we clipped his hair. Yeah, yeah. Well, we yeah, didn't. Haircut. My wife already gave me a haircut, so. We didn't clip you. Okay, anyway, so let's go back. Where am I now? Okay, back to the place. So the place. It says you have to daven in a house and not in a field. As the Gemara says, It's considered a chutzpah if somebody prays outside in the valley. That's what it says in Shulchan Aruch. You shouldn't pray in an open place like a field. Because when you're in a modest place, then it comes upon you the the fear of the king, and you have a broken heart. Okay, so uh, and let's see what he says. Achain, however, dasa taisus taisus opinion is shein zeela b'makar shom shom that. That's only in a place where people pass by. Of a vaysh chachia yesh l'hespalu b'ayis, but certainly initially you should pray in a house or initially. All right, that's the idea. You have to pray with a broken heart. You have to, you know, you don't want to play to pray in a place where the hills are alive with the sound of music. I mean, you want to be in a place where you feel that there's a fear. You're entering into a sanctuary, which is something you really can't do in an outside structure. And that you could say that's the idea. You're a soldier. The soldier has to go exactly where the battle is meant to be fought. However, he spited us on the other hand, the essence of his post, not just because he's supposed to be outside where people are. And even though the Rebbe says, even though you could be misquoted in a room or in the field, but even the Rebbe said, for sure, hold. The best place for his post is outside where people leave. What's the main ideas, principles of his post? The whole idea is to separate from everybody. Solitude, as the Rebbe, as Rebbe said in so many places, as it was explained very much in the other, we were explained in these Svarim who talk a lot about this, of going out to other places. Okay, going on to the next page. Okay, yes. So that clearly is a, a difference, you know, between the soldier, because this is where you have to fight, and the friend. 
a friend, you could talk to a friend anywhere. That's the idea. Also, prayer should be in a shul. And not only in this place, it should be done with an abundance of people is the glory of the king. Not, not a small million of 10 people, but as many as you can, provided they're not talking in shul and other things, of course. It could be only a small minion. It can be quiet. But it has to be, you remember, that's all I did. It's for the king. It's for the glory of Hashem. That's done secretly. You talk him, oh, it's very possible. That this private prayer, he got me malus. So that's one of the advantages of his bodhus. Because the rabbis say on the Pesach, the day Adami tachas can fame, the hands of people were under their wings. Shaksiv, the way it's written, is the Yado, the Yado, which means she Yado shall hakadosh baruch hu. It's the hand, his hand is under the wings. Which have frusha tachas kav b'chesh kesh yin lekabel balei tshuva miad minisadin. That Hashem is ready to accept the balei tshuva from the attribute of justice. Because Rashi explains that the means that then Mekat Regis is prosecuting and says, don't receive his prayer. And he's receiving it. And where does Hashem receive it? Where does Hashem get, take his hand? His hand is underneath. In secret. That's the answer. When a person is praying in his photos, in hidden is some shuta yada is brach the kabbalas hashemela. That's when Hashem is there to receive that. So that's what how he explains the pasuk viyadai, but mean viyado and his hand Hashem is there to to grab onto him when it is mitachas kanfeim when it's in a hidden place. Okay, can we try another one? Let's try it. Although we can only start. Also, another difference is in time. Let when prayer there are set times. night, morning, and afternoon. There's certain zmanim for prayers. You can't daven. I can't daven shachris at three in the morning. I can't daven mincha at noon right now, and I can't daven marav at eight in the afternoon either. You can't have them after, right? You can't do any of that. Lispotidus, on the other hand, ain't smakvudus. So set time. Even though the best time we said is at alachik midnight, we come up with ain't smakvudus. It doesn't hold you back. Uchalusman chersher kaima seitz and it flaws. Yes, so you can do this any time it works for you. So it's not just time. It's not just place. It's it's all these differences. The over nice of yesh behut. Uh, Another point that Hispodidus has, it includes an arousal from above. Means, even if you merit to sit before Hashem, and to pour your heart before Hashem. Yeshapamram says many times, a person feels the close of Hashem, Ritzonas, the Kisufi, Mamamazafsho. Yearnings and desires fill his soul, or her hurry chuva karata on the or thoughts of chuva enter his heart. So now, when that happens, right, a person gets an arousal, right? Don't wait till tomorrow to do his photos tomorrow. As soon as your heart's aroused, it's called a share of a libel of Neshem, say what's on your heart before Hashem. Can't do that with set prayers. Oh, I'm really feeling close to Hashem. I have to wait till tomorrow because I already dove in Marv. No. So therefore, we're saying that when you get an, an arousal, right? So uh, you're going to feel this. So now just go right in. Rabbeinu Af Omar Rebbe said, even when a person is aroused in a certain place, so don't go to another place. 
It could be the Isaurus is Dafka coming from this place. It has a unique quality that we're unaware of. And if we go from there, it will stop as he writes in his Lekutei uh, Maran uh, in Simen Kuf Chof Dalit. Okay. So I don't have to go through all this, but that's the point he's saying. You have to be doing it when it comes, go for it right away. I heard from him. One time there was a tzaddik who was standing in the corner of a marketplace. He starts crying before Hashem. And when they asked him about it, he said, Isn't that the Rebbe taught us? Assuming you get in a rousing place, and look, don't leave there. You might lose the Hisarus. Now, obviously, you got to be careful. You don't want to do it in a way that starts screaming and yelling in the middle of a marketplace. It's going to cause embarrassment. But, it, but the point is, Hisarus, whenever it happens, just take the opportunity that you never know. That's where you're meant to say this, feel this, and feel this closeness. Okay, that ends our benefits. Oh, this, that's correct. Okay, we'll finish that. Tomorrow we start chapter nine. Best of Sashem. Shlomo may have had a question, but maybe you can ask tomorrow. I see uh, yeah. Shlomo, maybe email me the question. Okay, just send me a quick email and we'll start with that tomorrow. I'm sorry I didn't see your hand. No, no, it's a simple question. I'll ask you afternoon. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay. Okay.